All right. Hey, please be joined by Beza Weeks, Executive Director of Community Partnerships at Dunwoody College of Technology in Minneapolis. And Beza is going to tell us all about a new partnership with an organization called Raise the Bar to support single parent students at Dunwoody with housing and child care. First of all, Beza, thanks for joining us. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for having me, Brian. I'm wonderful. How are you today? Well, I'm doing all right. Doing all right. So I guess before we talk about this new partnership, I wonder if you could just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself and your role at Dunwoody. Absolutely. Uh, so once again, my name is Beza Weeks, and I am the Executive Director of Community Partnerships at Dunwoody, uh, actually the first Executive Director for the college. And I came on four years ago and created the Pathways to Career Scholarship Program, uh, P2C. And then within my first year, we formed the Community Partnerships Department, which also holds our P2C and Women in Technical, WITC. Uh, signature scholarship programs. And more specifically, my role as the executive director is designed to support our strategic plan at the college to close the achievement, skills, and income gaps for under-resourced student populations, including women. And closing these gaps will have a significant contribution for meeting industry needs and to build a more equitable and diverse workforce. And then just a little bit about me, Prior to coming to Dunwoody, my career has been in educational roles of many types, from educational institutions to nonprofits, with similar missions to interrupt persisting disparity gaps for students and women and professionals of color. Okay. And how long have you been with Dunwoody now? I am approaching my fourth year in May. Oh, great. What, what did you like about this opportunity with Dunwoody? I found it to be very much aligned with where we're at as a society right now. Uh, due to the tragic and unfortunate murder of George Floyd, my position was created at the college to elevate current strategies to implement access and opportunity for students of color. And that's what I'm deeply passionate about as well. Okay, and we alluded to this partnership with an organization called Raise the Bar. Can you tell us a little bit, first of all, about Raise the Bar, What what is their mission? Absolutely. Uh, the Raise the Bar mission is to increase opportunity and economic mobility for single parent families through higher education and career opportunities. Okay. And with this specific program, can you tell us a little bit more about, it sounds like you're, you're supporting students single parent students with some resources they need to continue to move forward with their education and better their lives in general for, for themselves and their families. Tell us a little bit more about that. Absolutely. Um, for the WITC and RTB uh, partnership, first, just a little bit about WITC. Our mission there for that scholarship program is to empower women to earn technical degrees from Dunwoody College and to eliminate barriers for women to enter and succeed in these trades and in these spaces that have been historically dominated by men. Um, and for Raise the Bar, it is truly important for Raise the Bar to provide opportunities and wraparound supports for single mothers through higher educational opportunities. And they have a platform that they work in in California, as well as here in Minnesota. And for our partnership, for this year, we will start with a cohort of up to five students and with the intention uh, that we will grow in subsequent years. Um, I'm sorry, can I start that question over? That wasn't good. No, no, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, the partnership with RTB will support a cohort of up to five students this fall in 2024. Um, and in, sub in subsequent years, we want to enroll even more um, but we want to work with Raise the Bar's whole family program to provide a number of combined support services. One will be rental subsidies to ensure safe and stable housing, financial support for education-related expenses such as childcare and housing, 
emergency grants of up to $1,000, one-on-one coaching, and then also financial literacy and career development program. Okay, and how great is the need for these types of services that you just described? It is, there's great need for these types of services. The, the challenge that we have is that many women, especially single parents, want to enter into the trades, but they've been discouraged to do so simply because of the low numbers and presence of women in these fields. So these programs not only help to create access, but to also create the foundational support that is needed for them to be successful in their, in their academic programs and see themselves in these trade roles. Great. And what types of careers specifically are they trade? Uh, will, will many of them, for example, be working in the construction industry, construction trades? Absolutely. Uh, we have women in all of our programs at Dunwoody, everything from automotive to welding to construction to land surveying and engineering. Um, we have women that are participating in everything that we do at Dunwoody and helping to change what it looks like for a woman to work in the trades. Well, it's no secret that there's a need for more workers in the trades, especially younger people coming in. And I know there's a big effort to encourage and recruit women and people of color into the trades. So it sounds like you're meeting a, a real need there. Are you working specifically with different organizations in the construction industry, uh, different uh, unions or uh, people on the the contractors groups or anything like that? Are, you, are they um, working pretty closely with Dunwoody on some of these initiatives? Absolutely. It, it would be really hard for me to name all of the industries that we partner with. But mm -hmm. Dunwoody has been around for over 100 years now, and we have a long reach in the industry sector, in the community building sector, and also in education. And mm -hmm. our hope is that through the partnerships that we have, um, which is also a component of the work I do as executive director, that we will forge these opportunities forward and also help to create a more equitable and diverse workforce, which is what meets industry demand. What's so? Uh, do you sense that there's a lot of um, enthusiasm among young women to work in in this type of field? Because I know a lot of a lot of times you're coming out of relatively low paying jobs in retail and hospitality and things like that, and you can make a pretty good career, a pretty good living in construction. Do you think that's exciting to some of the people you work with, some of the students? Absolutely. Uh, for the students that I that my department supports, the P2C and WITC students, they're often first generation of college students and mm -hmm. single mothers often have less resources than a non-traditional student, uh, than, I'm sorry, than a traditional student would have. Um, and we are seeing that the supports are necessary and our students are excited because at Dunwoody, we have an average of 98% job placement. And, and salaries are starting around 58,000 a year uh, once they graduate and have secured their internship and their employment. So these jobs can change lives and they can change industry dramatically. Okay, and where can people go if they wanna learn more about this initiative? Prospective students can go to our website and apply for the WITC or P2C program. Mm -hmm. um, we are also encouraging single parent students to join our WITC info sessions, which are also listed on there to learn more about the WITC programs and the benefits of this particular partnership with Raise the Bar. And we're always looking for community partners to get involved and support our programs at Dunwoody. And then I'd also like to say that we recently launched a new mentor program um, mm -hmm. for our WITC and P2C programs where we really want to connect professionals of color and women to our WITC and P2C students. Uh, this is a model that is critical for our women and students of color to see themselves in these roles and to create and, and uh, make the confidence that they need to be successful. 
Wonderful. Well, it sounds like you have some good things going there, Beza. Any final thoughts before I let you go? No, thank you so much for having me. And we really appreciate the attention to elevating uh, these disparity gaps and to help dismantle them and to create equity in the workforce. Well, thank you and, and good luck with this effort. Thank you very much, Brian. Take care. Thank you, you too. Mm -hmm.